Uh, Tim here from TMR Customs and I've just got a little PSA or tech tip about our limit strap clevises and I just kind of want to walk you through that. So I'm referring to this gold unit right here and this weld block. So that's our limit strap clevis. The nice thing with it, it gives you a inch and three quarter adjustment range. So it's really going to help you dial in the length of your limit strap. So we're looking at one here on the rear of my tube chassis kit. We make them, this one's coped for a round tube or a chassis. We also make them flat. So if you've got a traditional uh, flat frame rail, it's just gonna weld right on there. What I wanna show you is that clevis, it's in line with the strap. So when the strap's loaded, we're just pulling straight on that clevis. We don't want the clevis to be angled straight like that. And then our mount be way out on the axle out here with the strap being loaded up on an angle. That's gonna obviously wanna pull or bend on the clevis itself. And if we come up to the front of the chassis, you can see, same deal. We've got that blocks on an angle so that that clevis there, the gold portion, the threaded portion, the shank, it's in line with the linen strap. So again, we're not side loading the clevis. If we're gonna side load the clevis, we're gonna bend it or potentially break it. So we wanna keep them in line. So again, we'll look at the front of the car there. You can see when that limit strap's tight, as the suspension's fully drooped out, Clevis in line with the strap. So that's what you're looking for on those. If you do that, you can take advantage of that inch and three quarter length adjustment, really dial in your limit straps and get uh, the best function out of that.